Today, we're going to Salvation Army and Goodwill in sunny California to look for items to flip online for a profit, and you're coming with me. We'll keep a tally of what we pay for each item that we find, what the retail price is, and what I think it'll sell for. I'll show you how I paid only $7 each for two $600 high-end dresses, and I'll also reveal the brands behind several other items that retail for hundreds of dollars each. Which store were all of these hiding at? Let's go find out. We started at Salvation Army, and this specific location has a boutique section, which essentially is a curated collection of brands that they consider to be more in demand or high-end. I can see why some of these brands were here because they're pretty popular and pricey retail, but they're not really the kind of things that I like to flip because they're fairly saturated on the secondhand market. So I just kept on looking. It was really easy to go through quickly since the clothing section and the store in general were pretty small. And I have to give them props on how well organized this store was. It really was quite impressive. So bravo Salvation Army. Unfortunately, I didn't end up finding much over here except these mother jeans, which were marked at $50. And you're probably thinking that that is totally crazy but I have a lot of experience selling mother. They're literally my number one selling brand. So this was such a great first item to find because people are often looking to the secondhand market to buy these at a discount because they retail for close to $300. And since these are new as tags and I had a 25% off coupon, it brought the cost down to $37.50 and I think that these will easily sell for $125 to $150. I liked this puffer coat by a brand called By Dylan. I'm assuming that's how you say it. But even with the 25% off, there wouldn't be much room for profit since it only retails for around $100. I started my reselling career flipping furniture and decor, which eventually led me to opening my own furniture business. And although now I primarily focus on flipping clothing, I do like to check out the decor in case there's a gym hiding. But it was a little pricey to flip, but it was really great for personal use. So if you're in the area, definitely check out that section. The boutique section is separate from the actual store, which is much larger. So we headed over to that side to see if we could find anything to flip. And again, I was blown away by the organization because a lot of thrift stores in Los Angeles look like they've been hit by a hurricane. But this was really easy to sort through and I immediately started finding things. The first thing I found was this Frank and Eileen shirt, which is a reseller's favorite because it's a very expensive retail and it always sells. This shirt retails between two to $300 and I have sold this brand so many times before. In fact, I just scored 15 of them at Goodwill and one sold the same day for $169 but it was new and so I think since this is pre-owned we could get somewhere close to a hundred and it was only $7.99. I saw this material sticking out and it caught my eye and I love learning new brands and honestly this is the best way I've found is by just finding interesting pieces and looking them up. It's really that simple. I literally just Google the brand or use Google Lens and I'm really glad that I did it on this piece. The brand is called 11.6. It retails for $450. I was a little shocked by that, but it was only marked at $599, and I think we could get around $125 for it. What's a sourcing day without finding something for yourself? You always got to find a little something for yourself. And I love my last name, if you haven't noticed, so I'm kind of regretting not getting it. Should I go back? This one may seem random, but people love this Forever 21 Flamin' Hot Cheetos collab. I've never sold this exact piece before, but I've sold several others on the line. So I'm pretty sure that this will flip, maybe not for a ton, I guess around $25 and it was $7.99. So not a huge profit, but I do like things that sell fast too. And I think this might be one of them. We'll see. Remember how I said Mother was my top selling brand? Well, this brand, Reformation, is also in my top five. I'll pick up almost anything from it since they have a very loyal following and the demand is there, especially for the dresses. This is the time dress in Sunset Stripe. And all of the dresses at this location are $8.99 and this piece retails for close to $200. So we should probably be able to get around $75-ish for it.
This was a brand that I recently discovered and picked up at my local flea market, so I already knew that they retailed for close to $600, so of course I was gonna grab these. And they were only $10.99, and I think that we could get around 100 since they are in excellent condition. I've heard of this brand before, but I've never actually sold it. But if you quickly glance at their site, you can see their dresses range from $300 to $800, so dang, I didn't realize it was that expensive. This piece seems to be a collaboration or some sort of private label with Barney's, so I'm not sure what that does to the value. I have sold a Barney's collab with another brand before that did fairly well, so taking all of these things into consideration, I'm gonna say we could probably get 75 to 100, and again, the dresses are $8.99. This piece is gorgeous. It's by a French brand called Bash. It's very expensive. It retails for $320. So I think we could easily get 100 for this and you guessed it, but it was $8.99. I find this brand quite often. Maybe they're based in LA or something. It's called Shoots. These were my size, so I'm really tempted to keep them, which I actually rarely do because I like the money more than I like the stuff. But these are very stylish with the acrylic heel and they're new. So I'm pretty sure they're gonna sell for good money. My best guesstimate would be 75 to 100. And we only paid 14.25 because we were able to use our coupon again. I kind of loved these boots. Even though I have pretty tiny feet, they were way too small for me. They were probably like a size five, but it looked like they were clearly going for some kind of Gucci cross with the big red boots, and I am totally here for it. And I wanted to let you in on a little pro tip. Sometimes really cool dupes or even aesthetically similar styles can also do really well. I wasn't sure if we were going to be able to top what we found at Salvation Army, but the thrift gods apparently had something else in mind. This Goodwill location also has a boutique section, which is typically upstairs, right up here, but they were in the midst of remodeling, so they let us know when we came in that the boutique items were on these few racks, so that's where we started looking. Goodwill must have known I was coming because the first thing I found on these racks were these two dresses by a brand called The Great that retail for $600 each. They were only marked at $8.99, but if you're on the mailing list, they send out coupons on the first of every month for 20% off of purchases over $30. And I mean, that's not hard to do. And there's no tax at the thrifts here. So that brought the cost of these dresses to $7.19. And I think that they will each sell for around $250. We found it again. You guys might remember this brand from Salvation Army. It's another Frank and Eileen shirt. Let me know in the comments below how much you think it was and what you think it's gonna sell for. I love a good graphic tee and this one was from 2007. So I looked it up and I saw people listing it for prices all over the place. Not sure what it would sell for, but I basically just got it so I could do this. Zara is also in my top selling brands, especially the blazers. So if you're passing on Zara, take this as your sign to stop right now. Thank you very much. It sells people. This one had a very Chanel-esque vibe, which was confirmed when another shopper looked at me and said, Oh my God, that looks like Chanel. <laughs> So I looked it up and found out it was a blogger favorite, which sometimes means that it will sell for more than the original retail cost. Not sure what the original retail cost of this piece was, but I only paid $15.99 and I think it's gonna sell for around $125 to $150. So that's great. When I spotted this, I booked it down the aisle. If you're not familiar with this sweater, it was made famous by Princess Diana and a brand called Rowing Blazers re-released it and it can sell for hundreds of dollars. Sadly, this was a really cheap dupe. My mom actually wanted to buy it, but the quality was so terrible that we put it back, else I 100% would have got this to flip. 
I got really excited when I saw these because Neely Lotan sells really well for me. It's crazy expensive. I recently sold some pants for $400. But the closer I got, I saw that Target logo. And although some Target collaborations can do pretty well, this is not one of them. However, speaking of collabs, I found this piece and I have sold this exact dress before. It's a Nasty Gal collaboration with Courtney Love and I was so excited, but it had a huge run in it and I didn't want to risk it. Although last time it sold for over a hundred dollars, so it was really sad to leave it behind. I'm pretty sure I had this exact dress when I was in elementary school. I even asked my mom who was with me and she confirmed. This one was giving me major ginger spice vibes and my husband is British, so I almost got it just for fun. I did end up getting this cute little Argyle sweater for myself though, and I love it so much. It has those Hey, Buffy vibes. Maybe going prep is cool. Hey, Buffy. <laughs> now that is not cool. This was a new to me brand called Margo, and I love the print and Mary Janes are really popular right now. So I looked them up and saw they retailed for $295. So I think we should be able to get around $150 for this style because it's nearly sold out on their site and that would be a great close to $100 profit since they're marked at only $19.99. With the discount, I love selling this brand, Loeffler Randall. It retails for really, really high. These were unfortunately marked up a little too high to have any room left for profit, else I may have gotten these for myself, but they weren't my size, so back on the rack they went. I found this piece too. I didn't get it on camera in the thrift store. So sorry guys, I can't get everything. I really tried, but I'm gonna guess that this will go for around $90 just based off of my past experience selling it. Retail is probably around mm, 200 and we paid 719. So this store just did not wanna stop with the crazy finds today. This dress is from a brand called Sandro. My mom actually found it, so thank you, mom. <laughs> it retails for, you know, probably three to four hundred dollars, and I paid $7.19, so hoping to get somewhere around $75 to $100 for it. You know what's even better than getting two $600 dresses for $7 each? The time my friend gave me like $3,700 worth of clothes for completely free. I'll see you guys next time.